thank you for joining us today. Today we are visiting the Black Country Living Museum, so we'll see you inside. Oh, we have not now arrived inside. We didn't actually pay to come in because when you buy a ticket to come here, you get one that lasts for 12 months. And we came last year and I think we've got something like six days left on last year's. So we got in for free. And that means my inner Scrooge McDuck is thrilled. However, under normal circumstances, you'd pay the full price for an adult and a child and essential carer would be free. So we've come from the entrance and we've turned left. So we've got a queue of people waiting at the bus stop. I don't think the trolley buses are running today because I think they've got problems with the overhead electricity wires. So, we have an old bus there and a war memorial. And over here we have some prefabricated houses, prefabs that were built after the Second World War to try and replace some of the houses that had been damaged in the Second World War. I was obviously mistaken, the trolley buses are running today. Even I get things wrong sometimes. We're in the back garden of the prefab houses and you can see there's lots of vegetables growing here because people um, were still under rationing after the war so a lot of people grew their own things vegetables and so on um, the house itself isn't accessible however they do have a ramp that they can put down so that you can you can go in and have a look. Downstairs bathroom. There's the stairs. And this is the living room. And we got the ramp down so Mr George was able to come in. My great aunt she used to have a sewing machine exactly like that one in her front room. I remember using it when I was a little girl. So seeing something like that brings back fond memories. Yep, got an old radio, a gas mask. There's the coal for the fire down there. You hear the clock ticking. And we've stopped John sitting on the furniture because it's fragile. It was close, but we've stopped it. So now we're walking down the hill again. We've had a look in the prefab house, which is quite something from the 1940s because it even had an indoor bathroom, as we saw. So we keep walking down here. We've got picnic tables here, and there's other areas to sit and have a picnic to if you want to bring one. We are going to go for the fish and chips because they are delicious. Country rock and fossil shop. And just to the right of that, we have the Black Country Mining Company. I don't think we'll be going in there. No. It's a bit claustrophobic and not very wheelchair friendly. In front of us, we have got the Crooked House which was rebuilt here. They numbered the bricks and took the old house down and rebuilt it here exactly as it was. So it's a crooked house. Across the way from the crooked house, we've got this little house here. And we, again, these old houses were not built with accessibility in mind, but they do all have metal ramps that the people who are in the houses will put down for you so you can go in and have a look at how people used to live in the old days. It's got a nice low step so we'll see how we go with that. 
We've got the decorators in, so we're just in this room today. I can afford to have the decorators in because I'm quite well off. I'm the posh lady. Is it posh lady? I am. I've got wallpaper. Wallpaper? Piano. Look, wallpaper. That's a relatively and new concept piano. here. Ah, oh, it means she's posh. Yes. Very nice room. It's a nice parlour, isn't it? It is. The gentleman that lived in this house, he was a black country, you know, bloke from the black country. His name was Joseph Bradley, and in 1915 he moved in with his wife and two children. Only two children. But Joseph worked in the office at the coal mine, so he didn't go under the ground. He was upstairs in the office, better money. And that's such a An easier room. work. <laughs> It was safe, it wasn't dangerous, whereas under the ground where most of the men and boys went, must have been all yeah. Horse in the field. Oh. But we're not allowed to touch the horses. In fact, they don't want us to touch the horses so much. There's another one there. But they've got an electric fence up. So I think we won't touch the horses. No. Or the fence? No. Park that they've got. So we've got some more picnic benches there and some old fashioned wooden deck chairs. I haven't seen those sort in I don't know how long. <laughs> that would fit my Hawaiian shirt attire, a wooden deck chair. Tom's now finding time to relax in one of these old fashioned wooden deck chairs. It suits his shirt, I think. Relaxing in the sun. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable, John, because we're going to move on now. Well, you and George move. I'll, 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 just, I'll just lay here and you can come back when time comes. The other end of the park there, I don't know if we can see it with, through the camera, there's a bit of a children's play area. I haven't dried like this in years. And it's nicely tarmacked underneath. It's soft. I remember when it just used to be concrete. <laughs> we were expendable back in the day. Playground. We've got the Workers Institute and then if we look down the street here we've got the shops. We'll go and have a look at the shops now. The first shop we come to is a radio shop. Obviously during the war, work, war years they didn't have television so they listened to the radio a lot. And next we've got a Preedy and Sons, which sells tobacco. I would imagine they can't sell that now, can they? Yeah. Well, they can, okay. It's not illegal to buy tobacco. Then we have a motorbike shop. Some very old-fashioned motorbikes there. Then we've got Humphrey Brothers. Do grates and building stuff. And we've got a menswear specialist. And fish and chip shop. I don't think they're opened yet. No, it's not time yet. They're closed. And down there. They've got a WVS, which is Women's Voluntary Service, war winning tea, coffee, cakes and ice cream. I like some of those words. I like and them then all, but some carrying on than others. a bit further down this way, there is the old schoolhouse. of entertainment while we wait for the fish and chip shop to open. There's George tucking into his fish and chips and John tucking into his fish and chips fried in beef dripping so it's absolutely delicious. Just a quick tip it's quite narrow in there so I found it easier for John and George to wait outside while I went in and fetched them. Uh, we've just finished our fish and chips and there's the Punch and Judy show. There's a cloakroom 
Old fashioned desks. The other side of the partition, there's a lesson going on. You can book those if you want to. That's where the, the little children would sit. It's the teacher's desk. having a lesson there with the teacher with the little slates. Glad I'm not there. Glad teaching wasn't like that when I was a teacher. I'll try that again. So, well, hello. Hi. Has Mr. Punch, has he been fighting with the devil? There I don't is. want the devil or Mr. Punch. Now, just past the Punch and Judy show, we've got some a few more shops here and there's some houses there's a pub at the end and we've got children playing games in the street which is what they used to do in those days because they didn't have to worry about cars between houses there's this still there in some old houses and we've got some ladies clothes it's an old terraced house to walk to down. There's the front room going right the way through there. It's the kitchen into the backyard. This is the <clears throat> front room of the terrace house. This would have been the parlour, the room they use for best. Go through to the salon. The wash house. All I can say is thank heavens for washing machines. I would hate to do my washings here. Cold house. The outside toilet. Lovely. Hardware shop with a tin bath outside. <laughs> pub again. And there's the chapel. Right at the pub, we've got George's favourite cobbles. 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 And some more houses. You gonna go on the cobbles, George? Have you had enough of cobbles now? But if we look down there, there's some more houses and there's a skipping rope tied to the gas lamp post so that the children can skip. Not skipped in years. And we've got some more houses here. leads us down to the boat dock. And there's a cinema there, I don't know if you can see the sign. Cinema there. From the pub. Come round this way. We've got more cobbles. And it leads down if we head to the right where that painted sign is. It leads down to a canal boat ride. Canal trips. You actually leave the Black Country Living Museum and you go across a bridge across the canal and you're going to Dudley Canal and Tunnel Trust where it's um, completely separate from the Black Country Living Museum so if you want to go on one of the canal boat rides you do need to pay again. Building. The important thing to do is to remember to pick up your Black Country Living Museum tickets before you come through or you can't get back out to exit back into the museum again. Booked our tickets for the 
wheelchair accessible boat which is going in about 30 minutes had to pay <clears throat> full price for John and for George but I went for free as a carer so we can have a seat and we can wait for the boat we can sit inside or we can sit outside and there's also some picnic tables out here if you wanted to eat your picnic by the canal. Well, that isn't bad, but that's quite convenient. Yeah, so it's quite a sunny spot there. So we're going to go and take a seat now and wait for the boat to come, the accessible boat. What are you going to do, my friend? I'm going to stay with you. Yeah. So go to Where the centre Now what we're going to do is go. Yeah, so you go that I guarantee that's not the same. Well done, mate. Look at those driving skills. It locks automatically when it's when it's off. Thank you. Well, we hope it does. So we're all on now, ready for our trip. Um, if there's anything that's sort of on due, I will say something. I want to look after you as best I can. I am qualified for not only licensed boating, uh, fire and water safety. A um, couple of things guys, um, anything goes wrong, I will sort of tell you what to do before I leave. <laughs> well, the fleet of boats, and some of them can be in there, at least one of them I'm aware of in there at the moment. So we've got the Lord Woods tunnel, it's a bit loud though, isn't it? mine, but it looks so different. So here's thing, something to learn anywhere in the world, underground, first like safety issue. If you see brickwork underground, it means the rock there is weak. And we're in a big tunnel. Right, so we've got two tunnels in front. The first one on the right hand side is the Dudley Tunnel. So that's what all the fuss is about, the Dudley Tunnel. And the tunnel we're about to enter is a tunnel that's been uh, constructed by ourselves, manufactured constructed by ourselves, called the 1989 Tunnel. I wonder when it was made. Okay. We've got the ivy draping over the beautiful limestone there, and yes, that is the world famous Hanging Gardens of Dudley. Right, we're back from the boat trip. It, it was good fun, didn't get a lot of filming done because it was quite dark in the tunnels, but it was very cool and a pleasant journey. We're now in the obligatory gift shop. <laughs> John had a bit of fun with the the captain of the boat, a bit of banter, kind of ruined some of his jokes as he couldn't see, but it was all good fun. So now we're going to head back to the Black Country Living Museum. That's the Punch and Judy thing, next show's at three. And we're coming round past a bus stop going round to the right and there's a fairground there but before the fairground we have got a garage this is the garage there's some very old fashioned petrol pumps there and some old vehicles and inside the garage we can see some cars that are in there as if they're about to be repaired Here we have got the fairground with lots of old-fashioned rides and side stalls and so on yeah. 
unfortunately the ground's a bit gravelly and uh, we found with the chair where the ground's a bit gravelly the wheels are tending to skid and slide a bit so uh, we're not going to go any further into here now if we wanted to we could get an accessible bus back up to the top again you have to book it in advance we but I not. think that we'll walk up you can book it from here if you want to there's a phone number you can call I think but the exercise will be good we, for us we'll walk back up so let's carry on then George you don't mind the exercise right George? on the junction where the crooked house is which is over there on the right and over here on the left we have a, another house so it's like a, a proper little village and very interesting to see how people used to live Right, well, we've uh, had our day at the Black Country Living Museum in Dudley. Obviously, a lot of buildings, well, pretty much all of the buildings are old. And old buildings aren't known for their accessibility. We also know that because we live in an old house. So we, we know that. But they do have portable ramps that they can put down so that you can go in and look at the old houses. Um, I think I said at the time, the fish and chip shop, if you're with somebody who isn't in a chair, I would recommend that you send the mobile person in to get the fish and chips because it is quite cramped in there. The uh, canal boat ride was good fun. We enjoyed that. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. I think, I think one thing that made that work is that you had a captain who was very good at, at his job. Yeah, bit of banter going. Yes. Uh, I think the only issue we had was with some of the gravel parts where George was skidding a bit with his uh, chair. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention when we came in, there is a charge to park on the car park. At the moment, at the time of filming, it's £3.50. However, if you've got somebody with you with a disability, they will give you a free token to get off the car park. So basically, if you're disabled, the parking is free. We've had a good day. We've had a very good day, yeah, yes. It's, it's been good. Um, we would definitely come again. But uh, if for now we're, we're going to sign off and say thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the day with us. And we'll see you next time.